Hi, my name is Dr. Clifford Douglas. I'm a neurosurgeon, spine fellowship trained here at Loma Linda University Riverside Division. I'd like to talk to you about the sacroiliac joint. That joint is a part of the pelvis and the spine. In fact, it connects the sacrum to the pelvic ring. The sacrum is one of the lower parts of the spine. Now that joint typically doesn't move very much and it's held together by ligaments and muscles. And if it does move excessively, then the inflammation that's caused by that excessive motion causes unremitting and chronic back pain. Now, if you look at the spine, you'll see that the spinal column is very long and it all rests on this, the sacrum. The SI joint is right here. And this is where it connects with the pelvic ring or the pelvis, which also connects to your legs. And so if you have a problem at this joint, it can become a very difficult issue for the patient because the pain that's induced by that is unremitting. Now, how do you tell the difference between a, a, a lumbar spine problem and a lower down SI joint spine problem? Well, if you take the history, the patient will oftentimes point to you where the primary pain is. And that's what we talk about, the Fortin's finger test. They will put their finger right on the pain generator, which typically is the top of the SI joint. Other factors include diagnostic procedures or tests. One of the better procedures to act is to actually uh, place medicine right at the SI joint that will numb the joint, thereby taking the pain away. And so if it takes the pain away, even for a brief period of time, minutes or hours, then you know that that's where the pain is coming from. If a patient has chronic sacroiliac joint pain that has been appropriately diagnosed, typically they will have non-operative management first, which includes SI joint blocks or injections of steroids or pain relieving medications and even a radial frequency ablation of the nerves going to the SI joint. If the pain persists and continues to worsen as it oftentimes does, then there's a procedure that can be done, a minimally invasive SI joint stabilization procedure. Here at Loma Linda University Riverside Division, we use the iFuse implant stabilization system. This is a minimally invasive way of stabilizing and fusing and thereby treating the pain associated with chronic SI joint pain. The procedure actually is very short. It's about an hour or less and it uses a very small incision, about a one inch incision on the side of the buttock or hip. In conclusion, SI joint pain is an often overlooked cause for low back pain. Many physicians don't attend to this as a potential cause. If you feel like SI joint is a problem for you, please give us a call. We'll be happy to see you.